All right, so this is what's going on. Already got all the phone calls and we're gonna start with the group training, probably Sunday and Monday. I'll be sending emails, I'll make the announcements. So this is something else. If you want mentorship, I have a short question that you can go ahead and book a phone call so we could talk about me teaching you the digital blueprint, hands-on, working with you to sell whatever you want to. So that link is below for you to go answer the questions, take you less than a minute, set up a phone call and we can get busy. I don't know a lot about San Francisco or California. In my mind, I kind of have some ideals and he called me and he's a PhD, he works in tech and he told me some stuff that literally blew my mind. This is what this guy said. He said the amount of layoffs that were happening in tech were staggering. He's like, San Francisco was kind of like the poster child for tech, Silicon Valley, all this other stuff. He said, man, he said people are getting laid off left and right around here. Someone that he works with, her husband was in tech. He got laid off and he had to get a job making half of his salary, half. And this is in San Francisco. This is in the land of Tech Valley. This is the land where they're doing all this tech. And he was just telling me so many things that were happening in San Francisco with tech. What I believe is what's coming to the future of America. What, what is getting ready to happen what is getting ready to um, get started, what's getting ready to happen and what's going on. We're, we got a lot of stuff that is happening, that is, hap that is happening in terms of people in this economy. There's a U YouTube channel, Your Money's Worth, how, how Money Works. It's a YouTube channel, check it out. And they had this video up. We have all this low employment and all these people are hiring, but how come people can't find jobs? So I watched this whole video and there's these companies that will advertise that they have a job when they want to fine tune their candidates. Now, what I mean by that is if someone comes through who's extraordinarily they can get the job. But if you're a regular person, uh, you won't get the job. You won't get the job. Or uh, they will just keep these ads open to keep interviewing people looking for the best choices. And, and it, it was wild. And this is something I kind of talked about in the video. You know, people are hiring in like the jobs that are hiring, DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, Amazon, Walmart, these fast food restaurants, they're hiring. And I went out the other day, just checked out a few more restaurants, and I saw nothing but Hispanic staffs. Now, part of the reason is Americans are not applying for these jobs. They're just not applying for these jobs. That's part of the reason. And then I had another conversation with someone in London who said that people are rioting because of the same thing that is happening here with immigrants taking these jobs, they're taking the jobs in London. And I was just sitting there like, it, it was just kind of blowing my mind. It was just literally blowing my mind at what was happening and the things that were starting to manifest itself in the world and talking to this PhD. And I want you to understand, there is not a ton of PhDs. A PhD, and he, he coined himself as a recent PhD graduate, because I think he has PhD two or three years, so he's a relatively new to getting his PhD. And he was just talking about all of the things that are happening in San Francisco, how it's, uh, you know, we, we talked about a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna put his business out there, but he was just talking about how San Francisco isn't the place that people think that it is. It's just not. And 
one of the things that you will see is this this issue with jobs it's going to get worse it's just getting started it's going to get worse and i you know i didn't even look at the unemployment numbers i think it's still at 3.9 percent um fully expect a six to eight percent in 2024 because once all these things work their way out and they work their they work this situation out you're going to get a lot more close views of these things as they happen as they are happening and it's amazing that a person with a PhD who works in tech had the viewpoint and the mindset that this guy did because once again, I don't, I, I don't know anything about San Francisco. I don't know anything about living in California. He did say something that I was aware of. He said that you can have a shoe box of an apartment, 700 square feet, it could be 3,500 to $4,000 a month. He did say that, that I was aware of. So he was talking about, it's very, very expensive to live in San Francisco, which I knew, I knew that, but I didn't really know how bad it was with uh, places to live and the California state tax, which I think is like 13%, which is like double most states. So you, you've got that situation and it made me really, really think about it. Cause today I had a lot of interesting phone calls and this is the first day that I, I have finished up somewhat early because typically I have a lot of calls later in the day. But um, one of the things that I am seeing, and this is kind of the San Francisco call, the call from London, um, is that people are not really it's very local, I would say, because once again, I don't live in San Francisco. I don't live in California. I have my opinions of what goes on over there, but since I'm not there, I really don't know. And this is why I keep saying, I just had some opinions. Let's call them opinions of what it's like to live in San Francisco. And this guy completely um, floored me with his thoughts and perceptions of living in San Francisco completely floored me once we got into this whole situation. And I was just like, man, that, that's, that's kind of crazy. So one of the things that is happening is as we go through the process of building and creating and organizing businesses, we have a very different viewpoint of the world because one of the things that we should be aware of is the world is dramatically changing. It's, it's dramatically changing. We're getting a lot of feedback from other locales and 2024 is an election year. So we're going to be seeing positive, feedback from many different things. But just like this phone call I had with a gentleman who lives in San Francisco, there's perceptions and then there's reality. And I had my perceptions and this guy gave me reality of what was happening in San Francisco at the present day moment. Cause uh, the guy's in tech and we were talking about that and you know getting a job interviewing we were talking about that and it, it just kind of blew my mind because in my mind in my mind before this phone call if you had a phd and you went to san francisco or you went to los angeles jobs should be dropping like that and he told me that was not the case that was not the case um 
And I was like completely and utterly surprised and blown away. I was, I was just shocked because, you know, when you say PhD and you're going into San Francisco and you're getting into tech, you would think you could pick and choose and refuse jobs. But he said, that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. And he said that the cultures out there very, very limited. He said the cultures are really, really limited. And there's some other stuff he said, I'm not gonna share it because that was his business. But the thing is to get that information with all the other information I've been, put, been putting out, to get that information of tech is massively, not just gingerly, not like here or there. He said tech is massively laying off in San Francisco. Now, if you didn't know this, California, the state of California, and I will check this. I know this was true. I don't know if it's still true, but the state of California, the state of California was the world's eighth largest economy. I don't know if it's still, it may be down to 10, but I want you to think about this. One state is in the top 10 economies in the world. One state, California has entertainment, it has agriculture, it has energy. There's so much that comes out of California. And this is why California is so expensive to live in because California, good days, bad days, California makes a lot of money from its industries. It makes a ton of money from its industries. So to hear that this, once again, you could Google this. At one point, California was the world's eighth largest economy. I don't know if it's still the eighth largest economy, but that's a massive amount of money. That's a massive amount of money that's coming from one state. But to have California be this economic juggernaut and to have them laying people off, because he said the layoffs were rampant. He said, you know, and he's there, he's on the ground floor. He's there, he lives there, he, he works there. He knows people in his network. And, you know, he was just talking about the number of people who were getting laid off. And this is something else he said. Once you get laid off from a tech job, it's not as easy as people would have you to think that it's that easy for you to go ahead and get another tech job. And um, it was kind of blowing my mind with the things that he was talking about, with the things that he put position and the things, like my mind is blown. My mind is blown because once again, I don't live in California. I have my perceptions of California. And then he gave me a dose of reality of California. He gave me some very real doses of reality of what's going on in California as a native of, you know, he, he was not, he, he wasn't born in California, but he lives there. Let me just say that. And to actually see the things that are going on in the state of California from a culture perspective. And this is some of the stuff that he clued me in on because honestly, I didn't know. I, I really didn't know. And one of the things that I saw during our conversation was California in a very different and new light. I, it literally blew my mind to see what was happening with California from that standpoint to actually get an understanding of what was going on in California from a native boots on the ground viewpoint. Because typically, I'm not living in California, so I don't really think a lot about California because that's not my neck of the woods. But one of the things that we will consistently see is the reality of setting up and doing certain things from 
a native point of view living in California and understanding the things that are going on with California. And these phone calls, like, like I said, uh, I'm finished with the how to make money online phone calls. And I'll, I'll be talking about that in future videos, but, or I'll probably be talking about that hustlers Kung Fu. And I am really beginning to see things very differently. I'm beginning to understand things very differently because I'm talking to people literally across the United States in different parts of the world and I'm getting accurate feedback on what's going on and how people are living and the thoughts and the situations that is happening. And I'm starting to have a greater appreciation for living in the United States of America and enjoying the fruits of being somewhat corporate and not working a regular nine to five because the things I've been hearing about jobs and working jobs and all this other stuff, it's literally blowing my mind. It's literally blowing my mind. But this is what I think is just the beginning because California is very, very rich in terms of money and industries. It's very, very rich. That's a fact. And a place that is rich as California is generously laying people off it's just a sign of what's gonna hit the rest of the country and the rest of industry and the rest of tech. So we're gonna to start to see a lot of people get laid off. We're gonna to start to see a lot of change and social change that's gonna happen as people are starting to get laid off, as people are going through these changes. We're going to see some big, big changes. So once again, this, like I said, this, this kind of blew my mind. Um, just having this conversation with this guy who's very smart, very bright. And my mind is just boom. All right, so this is what we're doing. Um, I've got something called the digital blueprint, how to make money online. Now we're gonna start the group training and then we're gonna start the mentorship. The difference with the group training is the group training will be an online course. The mentorship will be the online course and with me getting on the phone and working through your issues as the things that you need to do to go ahead and get your business. Now, I'll go ahead and say it. If you are someone who's interested in making it online and you don't have a product, you don't have a concept, the mentorship isn't for you because you've got to come to the table with some sought out ideals. You've, you've got to come to the table like that. But the group training, we're going to get into it. And this, this is going to be a big part of the group training. How to figure out what you should do. This is something that I've heard over and over and over again. It's like, I want to make money online, but I don't know what I want to sell. And everyone has this thought, like literally, I was like, oh, you want to sell courses? Okay, what would your course be about? Silence. Oh, you want to sell some online? What do you want to sell online? Silence, because they, they got to come back. So that's what I'm still trying to figure out. So this is going to be a part of the course, how to figure out the things that you need to create and sell online so you can make money. So once again, um, I will probably be posting and it's going to be group training. It's going to be group training. So, and I've had some really interesting conversations with people and there are things that are going to be in this course that you're not going to see in the other courses because I have 15 years of YouTube experience. So I, I, I will come in with a different perspective and you know, um, I've had conversations with people that would have been very enlightening, very, very enlightening. So we will be doing these things and a lot more. So if you want to be part of that, I'll probably start posting the digital blueprint thing. Probably what's the, soon. Let's just say soon. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but let's say soon. All right. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video.